Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at my newest custom uh, figure. This guy, I'm calling the Batman Predator, or the Predator Batman, it's really up to you. Um, either way, it can go either way. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys uh, what the hell I did, how I did them, and this was actually by mistake. Um, and I'm going to explain to you how a uh, mistake created this uh, figure and uh, I'm actually glad that I made this mistake. So let's go ahead uh, take off uh, Take the Batman predator off the turntable uh, And let's take a closer look and I'll show you what the hell I did Okay guys, so the Batman predator is off the turntable and uh, I'm gonna explain to you guys how this uh, Batman predator happened because he happened by a mistake by an unfortunate series of mistakes uh and i'm gonna show you guys what the hell i did and how i created them so as you guys know i love to buy like fodder stuff to create like custom kit bashes so the head sculpt uh actually was in a um a lot that i bought he is missing one one of his uh little uh what do you call it this little uh not tentacles but uh mandibles right there so i decided to give him like a warrior look so i decided to give him like a little scar on the face right there and then black out his eye as if he was injured so to make it look like he's been in war so this was this was a mistake right here this piece broke off and i figured eh, you know what let's make something out of it so i gave him you know like as if he was injured in a, a battle or a war or something um, the head is on a swivel. It does move. Um, the crazy thing here is I was actually in the process of creating a custom Batman. And then I tried removing the head from this body. If you're wondering where this body is from, it is from, of course, the Batman, uh, Robert Pattinson, Pattinson, Bat Pattinson figure. So I tried removing the head and completely snapped the piece off. So it took a weird turn and I decided, okay, I was just messing around. I threw a Predator head sculpt on it and I was like, you know what? Let's make a Batman Predator figure, custom kit bash figure. So that's how it came to be. So the Bat logo, I end up painting. It was silver. I end up painting it gold. It's just something, I don't know. I don't know why I just wanted to paint it gold. Obviously, you still can see some of the silver on it. The silver actually blends very well with the gold. The gun... Um, my buddy Nerd Cave Nerds asked me where the gun came from. I do believe it came from a Predator figure. Um, and also the belt is just there. So the hoop was already there. I just put the gun into the belt. One of the main reasons why I wanted to put the gun in there because it is a Predator. It's based on a Predator figure. It came with a NECA Predator figure. If you're wondering about the head sculpt, the head sculpt is the SH Figure Arts Predator head sculpt. That's why it fits so well on this body. Uh, and the hoop right here for the belt just naturally was there. So I just decided to slide a gun in there. It is rubberized. So I was like, yeah, let's slide a gun in there and boom. And it works very well. You know what I mean? It goes with this figure. I don't know what it is. It just goes with this figure. Uh, the the pads right here, the shoulder pads, I end up painting silver to match with the uh, his armored look that he has on his uh, forearms right there. And same thing with the other side as well the the silver for the armor um the knee pads i they were painted uh gold but decided to paint them silver because i felt like all the armor should be silver and then the bat logo i decided to paint gold even though it's not a prevalent gold because i it was silver at first and i went over it with gold again but actually i like how the color actually turned out it turned out very very well with this uh 
Batman Predator. Uh, in the spear right here, obviously, if you guys are Star Wars fans, you know where this came from. I do believe this is a Mandalorian spear, but actually, it, it looks so well. It goes really, really well with this Batman Predator. And actually, I think it's supposed to go this way, but I have it the opposite way. So it looks like a spear, you know... That, that fits the Predator. I don't know. It just fits them very well. Very, very well. Uh, I end up adding some paint apps, some silver to it, and some gold as well to blend in with the overall gold and silver scheme. Did the opposite side as well. So yeah, this I believe this was a Mandalorian weapon from what I can remember. It goes this way right here. But like I said, I flipped it this way, and now it's a Predator spear weapon and it actually goes very very well with this predator so i have to say uh this mistake actually all the mistakes from this figure actually turned out very well i wasn't planning on doing another predator <laughs> predator custom kit bash as you guys know i did a lot i've done a lot of you know uh predator custom kit bashes i'll break out some uh custom kit bashes and i'll do some reviews uh but in the meantime uh let's do a measurement and then we'll do some uh, comparisons with some other figs that I have out. So, Predator, Batman Predator, the Batman Predator, or Predator Batman stands approximately, uh, we'll say 7 and 5 eighth tall. That's just a little bit over 7 and a half inches tall. So, he's a pretty decent size. Um, so, as you guys know, I've been working on a lot of Batman customs, but as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I've done probably about eight different freaking uh, Predator customs, so uh, I guess it was inevitable. So here he is with one of my last customs. This is the, uh, I already forgot his name. <laughs> it's not the Outland. It's the uh, Uncharted Batman right here, my custom Uncharted Batman. If you guys didn't see that, I did a review of him. He's in my shorts. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, my Page Punchers custom batman right here if you guys didn't see a review of that check it out right there all black with a silver wash um and then we have my 90s style uh michael keaton inspired batman right there he was in my shorts i did a video tutorial of this guy so if you want to check him out check him out um my custom uh, uh gladiator bruce wayne uh, Batman right there if you guys want to check that out I did a review of him and then to do another custom comparison we have my Warhammer Batman which actually is not that big the Predator the Batman Predator actually stands a little bit bigger uh, than the Warhammer Batman oh yeah and also I did some dry washing to his head as well so I added some black paint to his face as well so I forgot I left that out as well. Uh, let's do uh, a couple more comparisons, guys, of some Predator, custom Predator kit bashes. So stay tuned. All right. So here is uh, my Batman Predator with my uh, Spartan uh, Samurai Predator right there. If you guys want to see a review of that, please check it out. My custom right there. If you want to know how I made that, he's in my reviews. And then here he is with my warrior uh, custom McFarlane NECA Predator right there. So if you guys want to see how I made that, please check it out. Um, okay, so let's do, uh, let's put him back up on the uh, turntable and I'll give you my final thoughts. And we'll call it a night. Alright guys, so there was my little review of my custom Batman Predator. And I have to say, uh, he turned out really great. Uh, he was a combination of a lot of fucking mistakes, man. So <laughs> it's it's amazing when you do a lot of custom kit bashes and, you know, you'd be surprised what you can come up with, you know, especially when you have the parts and then you experiment uh, here and there and you'd be surprised what you can come up with. And this guy by far is one of my favorite customs. And he was actually a very, very simple custom to do. You just throw a Predator head sculpt onto a Batman body and then you just apply some paint apps, give him some weapons, make him make sense, you know, like he would exist in a real world or in the comic books. And he turned out really, really, really good. Probably one of my favorite uh, Predator 
uh, uh, custom kit bashes that I've done. A uh, really, really fun figure to do. I'm actually really proud of this figure. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised uh, how well he turned out. So uh, there is that, guys. Let me know what you make of my custom Predator Batman action figure. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. I just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you in the next review. And if you have any ideas, uh, throw them my way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.